So hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'll talk about an experiment to show the alcoholic fermentation. Um, how does the alcoholic fermentation take place and what are the results of the alcoholic fermentation? So first we have a flask like this. Um, this flask, as we can see, it contains uh, molasses and, or any sugary solution with uh, yeast fungus. And along the neck of this flask we have a stopper here which prevents any liquid from the gas that would be produced uh, during this experiment. And this stopper has a hole in which the tube will be inserted. This is the first part. The second part, uh, it will be a glass containing lime water. So, we will connect a delivery tube inside the neck of the first uh, flask and into the uh, glass containing the lime water. And we will leave this apparatus in a warm place for several hours. And notice what would happen. So, there will be some gas bubbles at the top of the molasses solution with the yeast and you will notice that the lime water becomes turbid or milky. So, this is the observation. Uh, the interpretation is, for example, uh, glucose molecules here, C6H12, O6, during the alcoholic fermentation, with the effect of the yeast fungus we have 2C2H5OH plus T2CO2 plus two ATP molecules uh, this means that the glucose molecule when it reacts with the yeast fungus uh, along the alcohol fermentation, we have two molecules of ethyl alcohol. That's why it's called alcohol fermentation, with two molecules of carbon dioxide and an amount of energy equivalent to two ATP molecules is produced. So this is the process of alcohol fermentation. The point of uh, showing this in our chapter is that the alcohol fermentation is a kind of anaerobic respiration and so as a kind of anaerobic respiration we want to prove that this alcohol fermentation produces carbon dioxide and as we have noticed that the lime water become, became turbid or milky this indicates that there was carbon dioxide produced during this uh, process. Um, alcohol fermentation can be used in a very, a very wide variety of uh, milk and cheese industry, dairy milk products, uh, yogurt production, and so on. And this is the end of uh, chapter 3. The next time you will begin chapter 4, which talks about the excretion. And until the next time, I thank you for watching and see you.